Extra, extra, extra. Guys, final season, final Comic Con. Is this bittersweet for y'all? Very. Very. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Totally yes. Okay. So what is the, what is the Comic Con done for y'all though? I mean, I mean, being here and then <coughs> now this being your final one. What memories do you have from that? I mean, the fans are. It's awesome because we get to. Give, you know, have face to face almost with the fans and give back in in a way. I think it's pretty it's pretty special. Yeah, connecting with them, you know, seeing the impact of the show. This being our last, you know, we're 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 seeing like the culmination of all these years and everything that we put in and and what they've enjoyed. And so it's it's really bittersweet. Yeah. I took a 20 minute nap in the Padre Stadium just before daybreak. Okay. Good night. Yeah, Have that's why I brought it up. You <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dead no serious. Like that actually happened. So, that happened. Do you guys feel any pressure to fit everything in to a 10 episode of the last season? I feel like that's a good question for Mark. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I think, you know, I think this season will be a culmination of like, you know, everything we've put in and, and also like, a really great love letter to the fans and, and for us to kind of wrap things up in a way that satisfies and fulfills everything that we've done on the show. So hopefully we get to do that. Yeah. Um, will Emily Bett make any sort of appearance? Not we, we would love that. We would love that, We yeah. would love her. Yeah. yeah. We, miss her. we miss her. Emily Bett with cards? You know, Felicity? Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, hopefully. Yeah. I don't know. She's busy being awesome on Broadway. Yeah. Right yeah. I mean, how has Emily's departure affected the dynamics on and off screen and off? It's really tough doing the show without Emily being there. Uh, because uh, she was probably my uh, one of, if not my best friend on set. And I was sad to go back to do the eighth season without her being there. But. Um, I like what we're, I like what we're doing, but I'd be lying if I said that it didn't feel like something was missing with her not there. That's without a doubt, yeah. without a doubt. But it's a definitely different energy. Though. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, she's absolutely. definitely missed. But absolutely. Yeah. She brings a lot of, she's a light. She, yeah. she brings so she's much energy lady. with she's Felicity and just who she is as an actress. Yeah, yeah she's fantastic. And now that Oliver has been separated from Felicity and He's resigned. Is that okay? Yeah. Because you choked a little bit when I said it. Right, right. <laughs> He's resigned. He's resigned. He's resigned. I don't want to play Oliver over the last 10 episodes as morose. I want to play him as resigned and committed and willing to see things through. Because I don't want the fans to... I, I, we actually have one episode where it's just him sitting in a corner for 30 minutes, um, <laughs> trying to save money. Um, <laughs> no, I, I want him to be <laughs> proactive. Or is it possible to reverse the awful 20 year separation and give Oliver a happy ending? <laughs> Too easy. Um, it would, it, it, look, we've kind of mapped out how the show is gonna end. And normally when television shows do that, that's not how it ends, mm -hmm. which is probably why that's how it's going to end. Okay. And we read that Oliver will be facing his most challenging battle yet and will confront the reality of what it means to be a hero. Can you elaborate? Uh, he moves in with Diggle uh, <laughs> after absconding from Felicity and Mia and William, and they have a deep and profound argument over who should open the mayonnaise jar. We do. Uh, Gotta hit it from the bottom. <laughs> I think my technique is better, he thinks his technique is better, and I kill him. But what do you think he needs to learn? What do you think he needs to learn about? I, I think, that I, frankly, I think that he's learned all the lessons that he needs to learn. I, you know, he's, he's impatient, he likes to do things on his own, he's impulsive, um, but, you know, if that's in the, if, if that's in the servitude of protecting people, then I'm glad that he has all of those faults. 
Um, I don't know about that, but we have we have some things we there's there's a there's more story to be told with Diggle, uh, his father, his wife, his son, two sons actually. So um, and and the lasting relationship that he has with the team. So there's a lot more story to cover in within eight, eight episodes. And from my understanding, we do a pretty good job with it. Um, the direct answer to your question is probably not okay. immediately, okay. but you will know what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. Or happening. What can we expect from bringing back Tommy and Adrian? What can we expect? Tommy Merlin? Uh, yeah. Tommy gets to play the Tommy that we always wanted him to play. And uh, Josh, as Adrian, um, gets to come back and just be awesome. Yeah. Play. Yeah. So f I, I missed having missed having Josh so much. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, he's so cool. back. He's back with a vengeance in the first episode. I mean, what does he bring back? Like when you guys have him on set. I mean, the what is it? Fire. Like? He's also very locked in, which by the way, I saw you try and break him the other day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these two like to try to break people who are locked in focused. <laughs> in is that true? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? Best of luck for the rest of your day. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, he's so prepared and he's so professional and he is such a, an amazing actor. So he kind of just draws you in even more, which mm -hmm. is which is great. He's yeah. another actor. Yeah. And what can we expect from um, William and Mia's art? They're not. Well, not entirely sure. <laughs> I, don't I don't read. I don't read the flash forwards on purpose no, as a character technique. Really. I've never read them. I didn't read the flash when you oh, went to the island yeah. because of that. I don't. I don't read them. I don't know. Yeah. Are they? Are, how are they doing? Are they good? Are they <laughs> dead? <laughs> are they dead? Are, they dead? are, they are dead? my children dead? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they are. Maybe they could be. Really excited though. Crisis of Infinite Earths crossover. Yeah. What? What can you tell us about it? Yep. Mm. Everyone is already um, sounding quite afraid for, because it's going to be a lot of work. Every episode is a march to it. Yeah, that's yeah. a good way to put it. Yeah. And, and uh, Mark Guggenheim, who is shepherding the whole crossover, just gave me the, the macro pitch. And I'm excited because um, I think that he's doing what he's doing because he's a fan. And what he's getting to do in Crisis is is extraordinary, and I think it's going to be very, very, very cool. I uh, that's a good tease right there. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I want to. I want to see what this is all about. Um, and you guys have watched also Arrowverse. We're going to launch Arrowverse. Any chance for characters making appearance on this after Arrow? Well, always I, I hope so, yeah. yeah. I hope, I hope so, always. yeah. I mean, I think the worlds do connect in so many ways, so hopefully yeah. that does happen. So Greg, Greg kind of grew up in that generation where it was always cool to see, you know, actors and actresses on sister shows. So I, 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 we, we've just had the wonderful privilege of being able to have this universe that's very, it's just interconnected. All these characters can jump into any of that. I don't know if that's a plan or not, but sure. I mean, that, that, that's by design. Um, for each of you, what are you gonna miss most about the show and playing these characters? Each other. Yeah. Each other. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's like it's that's the hardest part. Yeah. Have there been tears? Oh. Oh man, yeah. last season. Uh, what was it? The last episode. Oh god. <laughs> where we were all standing in front of the in the bunker, looking at the case of our costumes. Dying. Colton's <laughs> like in tears. I look over. She's crying. I'm like the thing's starting to form and just like come down. He's crying. It's, uh, it's yeah. just yeah. And then they're like, um, guys, that was supposed to be like a happy goodbye. Yeah. And we're like, right. okay, I was like, it over one more time. Okay. Right. And could I not get a, it I tried to see with David. The other, the, just was it yesterday? Was it Thursday? Mm -hmm. I to see with David on Thursday, and it's not supposed to be a sad scene, but he had allergies. <laughs> And the wind's blowing, and as I'm delivering a line, this perfect tear rolls oh. down his cheek. <laughs> and it was because of allergies. I hope they, I hope they use it. <laughs> I know. What do you mean I can't drive the car? Oh my god! <laughs> are, are you upset 
No, no, it's I just hard. love these people. Yeah. You know, like they're, they're, they become like your family. Yeah. Aww. It's, what have they done for you? Oh my gosh, I've learned so much from all of them. I think you know it goes. I think everybody here would say the same thing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's been life changing. Yeah. Really life changing. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Aww, I'm so lucky. Right <laughs> there, hug. Um, anything you guys are planning to take home from the set? What do you? I didn't even think I'm gonna steal you as much as camera, possible. We'll tell you. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I've already taken a bunch of stuff. Have you? I have. I She's have like, you. don't tell anyone. But I've secretly I'm been. I take my stuff. my own bobby pins home. I've taken stuff, stuff already. <laughs> it's it's too late. They can't come and get it. It's too late. Oh my gosh. When I the day I got killed in season four, I had asked Mark Guggenheim because again, like you know, I was like, can I keep this jacket just as like a yeah. memorabilia thing. I promise I won't sell it or, give it, you know, and he was like, absolutely. That's so amazing. I have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then cool. finally, how would you guys like to thank your fans for these seasons? How can we tell us what you want us to, <laughs> like, what do you want? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> yeah, thank no, it's, you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's us just, just so appreciative of the support over the years, you know, and, and just digesting everything that we've poured into the show. You know, they've cared about every single facet. So for that, we're grateful. Yeah. I think the best way that we can thank the fans is what we're doing in the eighth season. Mm. Absolutely. This is our thank you. Yeah, we want to make you guys proud. Mm -hmm. It's like a tribute. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.